Hey, Phantomaniacs, it's Wednesday, and you know what that means. That's right, it's time for another Needless Unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today, we are taking a look at Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, uh, her first ever action figure as part of the first wave of Jazzwares' new AEW Unmatched collection, which is the second line of AEW action figures from Jazzwares. It's it's a wild time to be a wrestling fan right now, obviously. Uh, I'm not going to get too deep into that, but AEW is providing a level of excitement, uh, a level of entertainment that we have not seen in wrestling for a very long time. And the fact that they've got two concurrent action figure lines running right now that you can go to Walmart and just buy, because I have been seeing them lately, uh, I think is awesome. Uh, Dr. Britt Baker, when I started watching AEW regularly about a year and a half or so ago, is not someone that I thought... Uh, I saw the star power, but I didn't necessarily know that she was someone I would ever get behind, really. And in the intervening 18 or so months, she has become one of the top names in wrestling and one of my picks for you know one of the most entertaining performers in the business. Uh, her match against Thunder Rosa, obviously, is one of the most noteworthy things of the past decade, I would say. Uh, so I was thrilled to get her first ever action figure. Uh, there is also a chase figure in her uh, Britsburg gear, I guess. But I found this one at Walmart. They had... Uh, you, you actually... Look, it's a cross-sell. Fantastic. Uh, you guys know how I love that. Uh, they had everyone except for Darby Allen uh, at Walmart when I bought this Britt Baker. Uh, the Miro figure, I actually think it's pretty good. I just don't want Miro with the blonde hair, so I'm going to wait for another Miro figure because you know we're going to get another one. Uh, the Dustin, I've already got the red version. I don't care for the blue quite as much, even though the figure itself seems to be a better figure. Uh, the LJ and Cody, I think it looks great. It's just not something I want to get into. Uh, I've already got, I think, the best Kenny in the line from the, I believe it was the Wave 4 Kenny Omega, maybe. Uh, and then Darby, I want this Darby Allen, and he was not there. So uh, I think he he's one of my top five favorite guys right now. Uh, but Britt Baker, awesome to have her figure. I love the back of the box. You've got the great image on the back from the event that this gear, this figure, is depicting uh, from Dynamite, uh, September 30th, 2020, in Jacksonville, Florida, almost a year ago, actually, now, now that you mention it. Uh, but these figures have been mostly great. There have been a few little sort of uh, disappointments here and there, but overall, to me, this line is blowing away every other wrestling figure line on the market right now. That's my personal opinion. Uh, let's bust out our trusty 1964 box cutter. Slice right through that tape. And this packaging is a little wonky to get into. Uh, but but to me, that almost adds to the fun, I guess. I don't know. It, it's I, I like the weirdness of this packaging. And it's so unique with this top layer up here, the window that lets the light in so you can see the figure, which is a nice thing. Uh, it's just really eye-catching. And then the Unmatched series features silver foil rather than the gold of the Unrivaled series. So anyway, beautiful packaging. But that's unsurprising considering who's responsible for this line. Which, by the way, just want to mention real quick, fantastic that Jazzwares and AEW have partnered up with the Owen Hart Foundation to deliver uh, all kinds of Owen Hart goodness. He's one of the greatest of all time, and his legacy deserves recognition in every way uh, that, that it can be delivered. All right, so that I guess that's the easiest way to open one of these up. Maybe. So let's put that aside and take Dr. Baker out here and see. This is the first female that I've bought from the AEW line. So this is this is going to be something completely different uh, because obviously just they're... Look at this. Look at the way that I just pulled one of those off without explaining it. All these little plastic sleeves here 
to protect uh, the, the hair from the paint just to keep all the parts separate during shipping. You know, once you get it, it's up to you. If you want to open it up uh, and expose, you know, the, the paint to the hair and vice versa or whatever, you know, that's your choice. But if you want to keep it mint in box, they have gone to the lengths to protect their product. And I think that's really great. All right, let's get uh, a closer look here. Now, the first thing that I thought when I looked at this was, yeah, you know, I, I don't know how much that likeness really looks like her. But the only issue with this is, is over the last year or so, uh, her makeup has gotten more and more elaborate. So now we're used to seeing a Britt Baker with the heavy eyeshadow, a lot more makeup than this figure is depicting. But if you go look, and it still may not be quite as much as what she had on for this event, but if you take a look, her it's definitely... Uh, a little toned down from what we're used to now, but still not really what it should be. Uh, they, they really didn't nail the makeup on this one. But I will say the likeness is is good. They did a good job with that likeness. Uh, and if you look, you know, at that gear, obviously for a $20 retail action figure, you're not getting all of this... Uh, sort of printed detail, I guess, that's in her jacket and everything. And that's fine. I, I don't, for a $20 figure, I don't need that. What I do need is everything that they've delivered here, the teeth on the pocket. Because if you notice, this is like a variation of a dentist jacket, uh, which is kind of awesome. But the teeth on the pockets, the design, this is all sculpt. The lapels and the design on the front is all sculpt and paint. Uh, the studs, the tooth shape on the side. I mean, the, the painted detail on this is tremendous, but the sculpted detail as well is uh, a, a really nice level, uh, what they've gone for here. And, of course, she's got the tooth and the logo on the back. Uh, it just looks really amazing in the gear. What I'm curious to see, because this is one of those pretty stiff rubber jackets, it's not soft goods, so I'm curious to see how easy it's going to be to get her out of this. And... First thing I'm going to do is see if I can pop that head off to make everything easier. So the jacket, uh, you can see, is secured by a little peg right there. And another, and this is great. That looks like that's going to slide right off, no problem. Well, maybe. I might have to take her hands off. Or that hand off, anyway. Oof. Yeah, that one doesn't want to come. Let's pop that hand off and slide that jacket right off. All right. So we've got another little piece of plastic right here, again, to protect uh, the torso from the paint there. And I'm just going to do this as gingerly as I can. Well, you know what? There we go. It's very light plastic so you can kind of just tear it right off you don't even really need to worry about uh scissors so here is and i i knew this going in because i saw the pictures online and i'm absolutely baffled by it uh why are we doing this jazz wares this is a new figure why are we doing this cut joint at the waist on your females when your males have the really nice uh, rocker sort of almost ball joint type thing, I, I, this is horrible, horrible jazz wares. You're better than this. Do better than this. This is just terrible. Uh, and, and plus you've got the seam right there where her skin goes into her shorts. Uh, it just looks awful. Absolutely awful. I would rather this joint not be there at all and just rely on the upper torso joint because this joint is fantastic. Look at this. Look at the rate. You know, I'm going to put her head back on because this is kind of creepy right now. Um, look at the range of motion that that upper abdominal, uh, abdominal joint achieves. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, this would have been enough, and then we wouldn't have had this just eyesore 
right here. It's awful. And I'm looking at her arms. I guess that's, yeah, that's right. This looks a little strange. Uh, the double jointed arm is, is still kind of an unusual thing to see on a female figure. Uh, but they look good. They've got a nice range of motion, obviously. I would say the plastic feels a little rubbery, but you've got nice ratcheted joints that hold poses really nicely. So I'm not that concerned about the plastic being a little rubbery, but you can see like it it, it is. That's all right. Uh, let's look at the detail on the gear. Again, the sculpted detail. This is this upper torso piece. This isn't something that they're going to share, you know, among a dozen different female characters that don't really share it. Uh, this is all, these straps are all sculpted. The neck piece is sculpted and painted. Uh, this is unique. Now, they may use it on a dozen more Britt Baker figures. I don't know. Uh, but, like, they're not just going to repaint this and slap it on, like, Thunder Rosa and Anna Jay or, or anyone, uh, which I think is great. Uh, the back, look at that. I mean, look at the tremendous detail on that. Just looks absolutely great. They've done a really, really nice job with all the details here. Uh, we've got the hip joints with the upper thigh swivel that, uh, it looks fine. It's low enough profile. It's not messing the figure up. And then you've got at the top of the boot, you've got another swivel. And what I like here is this is actually, this isn't like painted leg. This is actually fabric right here. You can see the sort of wrinkles. Uh, so uh, again, just a nice touch to bring this figure up to being a, a notch better than the competition. And of course, correct boots. Well, okay, I say correct boots. Uh, unique boots, I'll say that. Uh, with painted soles. Uh, oh, look at that. Look at the tooth detail on the boot as well. Uh, I, I'm really appreciating the fine detail of the printing on the figure here. It just really looks fantastic. Uh, so, I gotta say, the, the two marks against this figure for me are there's not enough makeup, and that waist joint obviously is just hideous. Uh, Jazzwares, do better. My gosh. Uh, but other than that, the figure looks great, and we got a couple of extras here. Uh, we've got the hand ready to deliver that finisher, the glove on it. Pops right out, just a simple black glove, which is completely accurate. And then we've got uh, another one for the other hand. Easy enough. Kind of like, like her with the gloves on. Uh, and these are really wide C-grips. So you could pose that, you know, going into the mouth of another female figure. But I'll have to, once they release another female figure I want to own, we'll check that out. Uh, so you guys, i got to say, I think Jazzwares did a mostly great job on this figure. Okay, or her bicep. Okay, this is... I'm going to pop the head off again so you guys can see this. Are her biceps on, like, wrong? Is that, am I crazy? Or does that look really weird for some reason? No, because that, that should be on the inside. That's correct. I don't know, they just look, the way they're bent this way looks kind of weird to me. But I think, uh, I, that's right. Don't get all nitpicky now, just because of the makeup and the wrist uh, waist joint. All right, so anyway... Britt Baker looks fantastic. Great addition to the collection. I look forward to more Britt Baker figures in the future, including uh, the Lights Out Bloody variant from Ringside Collectibles. Uh, and I got this is a little loose, but I don't care. I know a lot of people get bothered by loose joints like this. I don't really care because it it's loose, but it holds a pose. So whatever. Uh, anyway. Lights Out Brick Baker, uh, bloody version coming into ringside collectibles. You can pre-order it now. Tons and tons and tons of great AEW figures in the pipeline. I can't wait to get them. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about Needless Things. 
Smash that like button if you like needless things.